In the next video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple script using Visual Studio and Windows CE. First thing we're going to do is create a new project in Visual Studio. So select File, New Project. From the dialog box that comes up, select the Merge Test Script template and enter a name for your script. Press OK. And this other dialog box is asking you for the name of your script, but you can leave the default name, which is user script, and press OK. Now that we created our test script, uh, we can uh, load the Murphy as add-in by selecting Tools, Add-in Manager, and clicking Murphy as add-in from the available add-ins. This will add the Murphy test menu to Quick uh, to Visual Studio, and you then you can then connect to the Device Manager by pressing Connect. You can see now Visual Studio gets added in the connected testing tools top and we're now ready to create our first script so what we do now is we press uh, recording in Visual Studio and then we can manipulate the emulator now this emulator is running on a different PC I'm showing it on this screen with the remote device screen uh, and what I have running here is a NetCF compact application. Um, so I'm going to press this button. You will see the counter will increase. And a record statement is produced in Visual Studio. I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, I'm going to uncheck this checkbox. I'm going to uh, change a different uh, radio button here. I'm going to make a selection in the tops. I'm going to select a different color from this list box and make a random selection in this list. If I press stop recording, We'll see that I forgot to uh, place the cursor in the correct position. That's no problem. I'll just copy and paste this over here. Like this. Uh, and now I can run my script. But first I'm going to uh, set this checkbox to true instead of false. I'm going to select a different color, yellow for instance and I'm going to select the first item in this list box by using the index. Now if I select the blue radio button here I can run this script. So first it's going to uh, press the button and you will see the counter increase from 7 to 8. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> now we're going to check the, the checkbox. Uh, select a different radio button. Then it's going to make a selection in, in the top and then choose a different item in the combo box and then it's going to select the first item in the list box. Now at the end of every result you get a result file. Uh, at, a, at the end of every run, better, you get a result file and uh, as you can see here the script finished successfully. Now if you have a closer look at the object pool behind this object, for instance of the, of the button, we can see that we recognize the properties of these buttons, for instance the name, uh, the class name which is button, and the text uh, on this uh, button which is counter plus plus. We can see that uh, over here. Um, and we can configure these, uh, these attributes by going to the device manager and selecting tools, object configuration. 
and if you select uh, .NET and select the Monet CF button you can see that these are the properties that are currently showing in uh, Visual Studio um, but you can change these by clicking add and remove and now you can see a full list of all the properties that are currently available for this object and that's all you need to know to get started with Visual Studio and Windows C